All right, I'm going into my butcher to try to get some bones for some bone broth. Oh, That's fine. Thick. Medium. Do you care? It's for YouTube video blog. I stopped at my butcher today. I'm gonna to start some bone broth. So let me bring the bones first. It's eight pounds. I'm only gonna use four for this crock pot. You want the ones with the most connective tissue because that'll all be collagen. And you actually want the, the, the bones with more connective tissue because it produces more collagen. So I'm just gonna eyeball about half of these. Nice muscly piece. This will all break down. That's about half. So about four pounds of them bones. And just kitchen sink, whatever I had in there for um, celery, green pepper, onion, some carrots, some garlic cloves. Put some of that in there. I have some. Seasoning, sprinkle some seasoning in there, and some apple cider vinegar. It also helps it break down. And some sea salt. And that's it. It's gonna put it on low for 24 hours. You can go all the way up to about 36. Set here and just forget it. All right, the bone broth is done. Uh, about 26 hours. This is what's left of the bones. Stripped down, all this fat. I'm gonna dump the bone broth here in a second and strain it out. We've been making bone broth for thousands of years. For longer than that, tens of thousands of years. Look at that, all that marrow's out. Stripped clean. Let's let this hit here for a second. liquid gold that's what's left of all them bones four pounds nice clean all these bones from my local butcher raised here locally in Kansas this is what's left really you can really see the collagen already just from cooling it's not even in the fridge
improve your hair, nails, your thinking, overall well-being. Don't buy that junk in the container. All right, here's the finished product. Bone broth. Put poured some in a couple mason jars. Got some liquid gold left. Might make a soup out of that. Start another batch. Bone broth. This is the bone broth from sitting in the fridge overnight. See how it solidifies? It's like almost exactly like jello. So you warm this up, you can drink it straight or any recipe that calls for a broth. You, you actually might want to thin it down like half water or a quarter water for soups and stuff like that because it is super rich in minerals and vitamins. But here's the bone broth. Here's what it looks like after sitting in the fridge overnight.